Rhaegar is officially here in Call of Dragons so today we're gonna go over whether or not she's worth investing in and then later in the video we're gonna be spinning the wheel boys and we're gonna see if we get absolutely wrecked or if we get lucky what's going on guys cheers okay a couple of disclaimers first of all I don't know when this video is gonna go live because I've been super busy the last couple of days but I wanted to go over Rhaegar so this video might go up after her first wheel is over or perhaps a few hours before it ends but fear not because she will be back on the next wheel if you are in a kingdom where she is arriving the second disclaimer is that Fragar is the way that I'm pronouncing this that might not be correct and I do apologize if I'm completely wrong about that and finally if Fragar is not a hero that you could see in your kingdom that just means that you're probably still in season one of Call of Dragons you're probably in a much newer server than me if you guys didn't know the different heroes come around different seasons you can see the little s2 up in the corner here so this is still going to be useful for you if you're in season one because you're going to have a glimpse into what is coming down the pipeline and things that you might want to be saving for if this hero does turn out to be op or not okay with that being said Fragar is a legendary marksman peacekeeping and mobility hero so to me this screams deputy okay this screams not a primary commander this screams a supportive commander that would be second in line because I mean okay I guess I should preface that by saying like if you want to focus on like massive damage uh the mobility tree is not great the peacekeeping tree obviously is for PVE content which just leaves you with the marksman tree which, which honestly is okay uh but you don't see like the skill tree or the control tree um those types of trees are typically what's best for PVP um there's also the PVP tree although I think I see players use that less often than others but regardless first of all the model is pretty cool uh I think the helmet and the face may be a little bit over designed for my liking but overall solid design for for a hero okay definitely not the worst here in call of dragons looking at the rage skill it's called squall shot with a 1000 rage cost and a medium attack range so the same attack range as pretty much every marksman it says deals hero skill damage to the target legion with a physical damage factor of 600 at max while granting Freyar's legion normal attack focus which is a buff that increases the normal attack crit rate by a flat 60 percent for up to seven seconds that is an extremely long buff and if you're pumping out rage or you're building up your rage really quickly depending on the talents that you get uh it's possible that you're gonna have this up most of the fight just based on how long it can last you know this active skill is actually really unique okay uh the increase in crit rate is fascinating to me because this is a statistic in tons of strategy games uh, even if you've played games like Genshin Impact Honkai Star Rail like those are games in a completely different genre two different genres in fact where you see strategy around crit rate crit damage uh and we didn't see that in the predecessor to Call of Dragons a game called Rise of Kingdoms I'm sure many of you are familiar with it if you're watching this channel but crit rates was not present in that game and it is present in this game and the way that crit rate works is that as you're attacking a player your army your legion has a certain percent chance to land a critical hit or deal critical damage for that turn the base crit rate without any buffs you know if let's just say you're using a, a Craig or whatever just like a random legion uh your base crit rate is zero so there's actually a zero percent chance that you land a critical hit which makes this skill really unique okay this also implies that there's going to be other ways in the future to gain crit rates you know perhaps there are artifacts uh, there may even be other ways in the game already that i'm not familiar with uh but a 60 percent crit rate is interesting now i'm curious to know why they didn't like scale this up like you know 50 52 54 58 60. i don't know why what's going on there but essentially for seven attacks after this buff goes up there's a 60 percent chance that you're going to crit now the crit damage the base crit damage is a 1.5 times multiplier okay so if your normal attacks are dealing a hundred damage a crit will deal 150 damage okay uh, if your normal attacks are dealing 500 damage a crit will deal 750 damage so crits could stack up to be quite a bit of extra damage here which is probably why the skill shot is such a low damage factor but um it is a chance to happen it's not guaranteed so 
you know sometimes there's rng here where you're gonna pop this skill and you're not gonna crit at all and it's you're just not your damage is gonna be horrible right so keep that in mind the second skill here knocked and loaded baby i love that it's a play on words right there uh while in the field fragar's legion deals 15 percent more normal attack damage and gains 15 percent bonus defense so here we see an offensive and defensive stat this is crazy right i feel like a lot of players when they go for marksmen marksmen are known for dealing a lot of normal attack damage right obviously you have mages that are dealing far ranged aoe marksmen are a little bit closer range they're still a ranged unit uh it's mostly like single target uh normal attack damage right so this is huge for marksmen third skill storm barrage all marksmen units in fragar's legion gain 20 percent attack and 30 percent attack crit damage oh baby that's crazy so here's the thing i don't know the damage formula for for how this is going to be calculated um i don't know if if the way that this is going to work is that it will take the 1.5x multiplier and add 30 percent to make it 1.8 or if it will take the 1.5x and multiply it by 1.3 because if it's multiplicative that's a 1.95 x damage that's almost double damage okay so there is a difference there um I have no idea how that actually works if somebody knows comment down below or if you've reached out to support and they've confirmed something let me know uh but this is huge because here obviously we're getting crit rate and crit damage on this hero so they're going all in on the theme of just big bursty damage with a little bit of RNG to make it happen the fourth skill falconeer charge when fragar's legion launches a normal attack they have a 20 percent chance to gain haste which increases their march speed by 30 percent and reduces the target legion's rage accumulation speed by 20 percent for five seconds this is massive okay this is massive um a 20 percent rage reduction for five seconds is pretty huge that's a pretty substantial debuff uh, and the fact that you gain March speed for this is nice. It means that you have a way out. You can get away from these engagements. Okay. And finally, the awakening skill is called cloud strike. And this says that it bumps up the damage factor for the active, for the rage skill from 600 to 800. And that's actually it that that is, that's actually it. So the awakening skill is fine uh i think it's really expensive to get the awakening skill on fragar but one thing i want you to notice is that every single skill here is applying for open field fighting okay so there's no requirements that she be in a rally there's no requirements that she be garrisoning there's no requirements that it be damage dealt exclusively to darklings or dark creatures this is a pure bred pvp open field hero and that is crazy you're seeing a lot of damage in the form of direct single target damage but also the crit damage and bonus to just normal attacks and then you get a little bit of defense here and a way to escape as well i think you probably if you're building her i would say you probably want to do five 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 one or five five one one if what you want to do is get a value build for fragar because you know again this this last skill is is useful but i don't think it's as good as the other three like this is not something you can control it's a 20 percent chance and you know a 20 percent rage reduction uh for the enemy it's it depends on how much rage they're gaining right because if this isn't a big enough debuff to reduce the number of turns it takes for them to launch a rage skill then effectively this isn't doing anything so you know there'd have to be some testing to see like how effective is the change from 10 percent to 20 percent and is it worth the, the sculptures i mean you know if you're a whale obviously go for it uh but you know for free to play and low spenders if you're gonna skip any skill it might be this last one because again even the the awakening skill is not massive here okay uh but the good news is that all the skills work in the open field no matter what uh, how many skill points you have there which means she is going to be an excellent open field pvp hero and i think she could be really good who are we gonna pair her with well i think the obvious choice here uh is kanara kanara primary fragar secondary that way you can abuse either the pvp or control tree i would recommend the control tree i think you already have the debuffs on fragar's uh fourth skill so the fact that you can then apply you know other debuffs here like soul siphon i mean you could really start to manipulate the enemy rage 
with this combination I think that's going to be really huge uh and also Kanara makes up for the lack of skill damage on the active skill of Fragar. and Kanara also gives you a normal attack damage buff with two different ways that she's a little bit tanky uh this is reducing the damage that the target is dealing this is reducing the skill damage that you're taking this is a buff to attack so I think the synergy with Kanara and Fragar is insane especially because both of these uh heroes do not need to be fully awakened okay that's huge also Fragar gives um Kanara the defense the archer defense uh sorry marksman defense that she is missing she has none right so Fragar is a little bit uh again just adding some tankiness there I think that's huge also I think Fragar could be a really solid secondary or deputy to Sindrion for rallies I think this is going to be really insane but I think that uh most players are probably not going to be rally leads uh, if you're watching this and you are a rally lead you're probably a whale who might even know more about the game than me so uh you can let me know if that's a combination that you're excited to try out out in the open field open open world obviously the free to play choice here would be Guanwin. she is uh you know an epic hero everyone gets her for free uh she deals single target damage here and of course if you have Nico at a usable level then you could use Nico as well finally Hosk if you're a pay to win well uh Haas can pretty much just be slapped in anywhere and perform pretty well so let's go ahead and get Fragar that is uh what I'm excited for now obviously this wheel has been around for um uh, you know two days now so I've done two free spins off camera and I've gotten zero of her tokens so you didn't miss any hype okay uh we bought the bundle to, uh, the five dollar and ten dollar bundles uh so we have 15 tickets lined up here already and then we're going to uh, I guess we'll use our gems to get to 100 uh but yeah we're only at 13 out of 50 pity so let's just do our first five spin let's see we get elixir we get speed ups we got one we got two okay so we got two tokens of uh, Fragar and I always call mana elixir I don't know why I think it's because I spent like five years playing Clash Royale and Clash of Clans uh and this to me just looks like it I know it's like not the right color it's like I, I get it I don't know why my brain just looks at this and thinks elixir I I know it's mana and I know that there's there is elixir in this game so it's confusing so forgive me okay forgive me but we got two tokens so it's lit it's lit let's do another five spin we have we have gold we have speed ups we have ore and we have two more tokens baby yeah we got four Fragar tokens we're getting there I think two tokens per five spin is like average right anything above that is good it's definitely better honestly I'm super low on resources right now I don't know how y'all are doing it but your boy is broke okay I've been leveling up my resource buildings because like I'm struggling here uh in the mid game and uh I I don't know okay so I need everything I can get here basically so it's lit uh we get five tokens of Fragar here in the in the little chesticle and then we're gonna go ahead and close this and we'll do our last five spin if we get even a single one of her I think we'll have enough to summon her right we don't have enough to summon her yet right no we we don't all right our last five spin we there it is dude oh we got two we got some wood we got a gold stars and we got a three hour speed up so again a solid two across the board uh and it is big lit let's go ahead and summon our girl baby Fragar. let's go and there she is there's no cool intro cinematic or anything like that that's kind of a bummer i expect there to be one later far light i hope you are busy working on a cool cinematic for her because she deserves one she's awesome there it is the legendary trailblazer you already know i gotta spend the money okay i have a hundred and seventy three universal legendary hero tokens um I don't think I've used a single one of these I might have used like one or two on Kanara to get a skill on her but I don't think I've used a single one which is kind of wild I'm happy about that I think you know these can be used on season two season three season four beyond these can be used anywhere these are like ultra premium I'm I'm hoarding them boys I'm hoarding them we'll see what I use them on later but for now I'm not touching them all right we bought 25 more vouchers here we still have 74k gems so we are doing okay on gems let's do another five spin um and surely we'll get you know we'll definitely hit our pity at least but let's not go all the way to pity so we got training speed ups universal speed ups we got wood we have universal speed ups and we got a single token so 
didn't love that but it is what it is let's do another one we got one token we got mana we got training speed ups we got ore we got more ore so again i need the i need the ore i need the mana so that's good but i'm here for the tokens really uh speaking of tokens let's grab this we get five season two tokens that's huge um right now i'm not going to be dumping my season two tokens into fragar because we don't know what the other season two heroes are going to be there could be an insane mage there could be an insane infantry hero we have no idea so i'm gonna hold off uh for a little bit to see kind of what comes into play for me though it seems like fragar is probably my best bet considering that i've gone pretty heavily on kanara and this is like obviously a, a match made in heaven so let's go on to another five sin we got mana we got a gold star we got another gold star we got another gold star we got another gold star brother listen i know that they increased the star level of legendaries so these are like super hard to come by but this is not why i'm spinning the wheel bro i'm i want to get hype on some on some hero tokens boys i want to smoke the hero pack and uh this ain't it let's do another five sin we got universals we got wood we got universals we got mana and we got them baby we got the 10 token drop and that wasn't even our pity boys i don't think i don't think that was our pity was it i don't think it was no because i was at 28 so we we were two away from our pity well, we were two away from the pity we basically we basically went all the way to pity okay that's pretty much it but anyway uh it's lit we got her we we got her two off pity uh let's do another five spin we got another token we got a universal token we got gold wood and universal speed ups so okay i'll take the universal custom tokens those are much better than fragar anyway uh because they can always turn into fragar so it's lit i'll take that let's see uh where she's at right now we have 14 so we can only put one more skill on her okay that's kind of lame let's go ahead and uh buy more goblin vouchers um and we'll see what's up bro we'll see what's gucci we'll purchase with gems we'll buy 25 more of them and let's do a five spin we got wood we got speed ups stars another token of her and some gold okay so we're getting like a nice little mixed bag of things here we're not getting a ton of sculptures we're not getting a ton of one thing or the other it's a little bit of everything but i'll take the 10 fragar tokens that's another skill up pretty much uh let's do another five soon we got another token of fragar we got universals we got a season two token we got stars and stars so that's lit again two tokens per five spin i think in my mind at least is like average i want to do better than average we're gambling here okay we're we're pure gamba right now um so we want better than that but uh you know we got one token there we got wood we got two tokens mana and that's it okay so again two tokens seems to be uh the the sweet spot for the average and uh there we go let's do another five spin we got universals we got training speed ups we got training speed ups we got another token and we got some wood so that one wasn't great honestly oddly enough like obviously i'm gonna need speed ups in the future but like especially training speed ups right now i do not need training speed ups like this is probably what i need the least out of everything on this wheel so the fact that i'm getting a bunch of those is a bummer another five soon we got a fragar token we got training speed ups we got stars we got a fragar token we got more stars okay so like again like this is useful but not hype it ain't lit and i'm looking for lit okay uh let's see what we can get here if i buy 50 i will be able to get the max rewards okay so let's go ahead and do that um we'll do another i'm i'm, I'm enjoying the 25s here let's do another 25 and we'll definitely hit the pity um so let's see we get a universal a fragar a universal speed ups for training and that's pretty much it so here we got three tokens okay and when i see universal obviously you know i mean season two tokens i know that they're not like actually universal but uh it is what it is all right so we are at 35 of our pity uh can we please get another 10 for fragar i don't want to hit the pity again like that's kind of cringe uh we got a universal we got mana we got fragar we got fragar and we got stars okay so we're getting this is like above average we've gotten a couple of above average spins here this has been solid uh earlier we got a couple below average spins so i guess this is a pretty average lucky spin video okay we are 10 off from our pity let's get it here we got mana we got fragar we got a season two token we got a speed up and we got a season two token so again three tokens i'll take it but we're gonna hit pity let's see one two three four we literally hit pity we literally hit the pity bro oh my god that's so sad man it's so sad but at least there's a pity system there are other games with wheels that do not have pity systems so i will take it and i am grateful for it let's do another five spin we got a fragar we got mana we got ore we got stars and we got wood literally one of everything there it feels like how are we doing on gems we have 39k gems 
uh let's go ahead and start another building upgrade over here we'll do a little mint right there 13 hours that's cringe but whatever we will do another skill up oh we can do two skill ups on her that's fire so her first skill is at four now love to see that uh this video is going to be five so we're going to max out the first skill in this video that's huge let's go ahead and uh we will do how many more oh we only need eight more so why don't we do that we'll do yeah let's just let's just go for the eight and that's it because we're so far from pity like it doesn't even matter so here we go last five spin we got a three hour three hour wood Fragar, Fragar. so again tons of training speed ups here not in love with that it is what it is our final three goblin market vouchers we get boom three hour speed up we're turning off this we got two left can we please get the 10 spot can we oh come on Fragar. come on this is come on universal speed ups okay this is it this is the heart of the cards boys this is the heart of the cards we are going to summon exodia right here come on Fragar. we're gonna summon Fragar. come on 10 heads or sculptures okay we'll get one we, we only got one piece of exodia okay that's that's lovely but we did get our 100 spin reward 15 Fragar tokens which means we're only at 33k gems we're looking a little light boys i'm gonna be honest with you uh let's go ahead and see where we're at here we are maxing out the first skill so we have seven seconds of increased crit rate that is poggers so ladies and gentlemen is it worth it to get to Fragar? well of course if you are going all in on kanara i think that that Fragar is a really nice pair for the open field if you're not going all in on kanara and you're not a rally leader with Sindrion, then is she worth it uh i don't know the fact that you could get her 5511 or 5551 i think makes her a really good option for a budget build uh especially because kanara is also one so that's kind of where we're at here but it, obviously if you're not focusing on building marksman armies then Fragar probably is not going to be the play i will say though that she is certainly up there in my tier list i think she is probably quite useful for many players for a low token investment i think she's more about like value than just being like the universal best hero in the game if that makes sense all right guys with that being said if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other call of dragons players might see it comment down below your thoughts on fragar is she op is she lit is she good or are you not a fan did you get her did you get lucky i would love to hear from you guys down there and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a call of dragons video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni we'll talk to you guys again soon peace